Kagongat kamiti ne ba somani ten bunge ne ba borora ke achi chigili siet ne ba chwa kini tsegule tabaraga ne ba mo university ne mien county ne ba wazingisho kama ne ba ngachire ten kamiti ina ten wana mi wamboka ne nego MP ne ba bumola kule kagongat kora tsegule na ten gomat ko kotesta iba iso ne kala tsegula chile la chena matke tsegule ba tini kile la chole ga match ministry ne ba somani ta kuru ga imuj kuga chira bi ne tsegule na ten asa kotesta iya somani ta kama match member ya tapot ne gingo ten gingo tu chile ba sote kfran Sigeya, Bunga watching one loot it in chocolate and sugulit never moy and white cole, when a yalil dane or groups of money negoxig, Chabasugulinotana, the Goikarop, own MP in a Bakimini Kaikai Bissau, Negamagulinio, the Gaywal Kaido in a tet in a bar, Sugulinotan. It directs the Auditor General to do a forensic, a holistic forensic audit for five years backward and uh, give us a report in two months. During the period, the committee freezes all new projects. The university shall not entertain or engage in any new project, shall not recruit any new persons, and uh, we direct the Public Service Commission to engage uh, PKF to discharge them from what they are doing at the university because they have that mandate and capacity to lead what uh, PKF is doing at the university with immediate effect. We also ask the Public Service Commission to look at this, the, the, the officers who've been acting for the longest and uh, give us an update. This committee, under your chairmanship, has done a good thing. Forensic audit. That will bring us out of this deep hole. Number two, chair. I, I had the minister, I have not had him since he took over the, the ministry, but, but he appears to be clear. Waziri, can you give us a way forward? We want these investors to come back and start. It is your business, we need to hear how you are doing it. Keep the money, those children as university must go back. So it's up to you as a ministry to really give money or whatever you can do, but what we want is the children to go back. Income generating. Yes, the ministry has failed. They are not remitting, they are not playing their role by remitting what they have to remit. But the public institutions, you've got the highest, biggest chunks of land. What are you doing to generate income? If you look at private universities, Professor Hiro is here. Professor Frida Brown, USIU, an example, and many others. Why don't they have problems paying salaries? They don't have the similar assets, uh, assets you have. You are also generating income through research funds. Where are these funds? In Kasarat and Gogama Minister and Ministry in Abasso Manet, Julius Migo, Sigulina Denit, Sigulina and Ba Billion Sisit, Aquendi Ministry in Abasso Maneta, Kotiakta, Chip Kondo, In Konek, Tasiga Moch Kelevan Gabaitinik, Agotelin Kongel, Jinetwa Waisit, Nagoya, and Nagoya Gagat Sigulina. There was a national strike, but there were also chapter strikes that were taking place. We managed to negotiate a, a, a back to work formula with the national uh, Wasu and uh, Kusa and uh, Kudea, and they signed and went back on the 26th of September 2024. But the Moi chapter had a, a more serious problem because for some time they've not been receiving uh, their salaries. Uh, the pension is not being deducted. Some of them are indicating that uh, they are being taken to court and judgments are being given against them. So it's a very serious and deep problem. I think the forensic audit should not be limited to the issue that we are facing here today. It should be a comprehensive forensic audit that is aimed at finding out what has happened and what can we do as a country to bring more university out of uh, the doldrums that it is in. Because what we've been doing for the last 10, 15, 20 years 
is just putting a bandage on the problem. As we speak here today, Moi University has a pending bill certified at 8.2 billion. That is a huge, a huge amount. So we need to look at the whole scenario and find out how do we help these universities.